Okay, what's up guys? Freddy Fishfinger here. Um, I am going to be doing something completely different. To my understanding, nobody has used the Pokemon, or well, not really a Pokemon, um, Bowl Kraken. Now, I'm going to explain it to you really quickly. For those of you that are aware of the Cat Project over on Smogon or Showdown or whatever, um, you can skip ahead. I can't give you time because I'm not really sure what time I'll finish this intro, but that's not the point. Skip ahead, you'll find it. You're smart. I trust you. Um, for those of you that want to know a little bit more, though, Listen up. Basically, um, Showdown attempted to see how different the metagame would be if um, one single Pokemon was invented. Now, what they do is they create a typing for it and they justify why it exists. Now, they don't try to, you know, give it certain base stats until they establish the reason why it exists. And Volkraken's reason is to shift the metagame in such a way that lesser OU Pokemon are used. That's the consensus that I got anyway from reading the description that they put up on Facebook and Twitter and all that. Um, so what I think they were saying something along the lines of that it pairs really nicely with Lucario and Latias, which in fairness are not commonly used. Um, but I've looked at it and I've decided that it seems to pair interestingly if I make a team like you guys will see in a moment. and. I'll explain it as the battle's actually on what my team's purpose is. But um, the point of this is to see whether the metagame would be different or slightly different or not really. So I'm not sure if you have to have a ball Kraken to enter this, but it's really not that hard because it's just, it's basically like one of the tiers listed. So rather than picking OU, you just pick Cap Ball Kraken Playtest. It will um, put you in an OU tier though. So you can pick, you know, OU Pokemon or below. It doesn't really matter. That's not the point. But in any case, um, enough of this, I will search for a battle, and we will see how long it takes before we can get one, because from my understanding, it's going to be a while. So, see you guys when it starts. Okay, so as you can see, we finally found one. And um, this guy's brought a mono electric team because he's figured that's the easiest way to deal with Volkraken. And I'm okay with that because I have here my, what what the hell do I call you again? God damn, Thunderous, that's right. And Thunderous will absorb all electric hits, so I'm more than happy for that to happen. Um, I'm expecting possibly a lead Galvangela. I don't have anything to get rid of sticky webs though. So it seems that my team will be somewhat subject to sticky webs, but my team isn't exactly fast, and um, apart from Thunderous and Weavile, so if I lead Weavile, then that's not a problem. So that's what exactly what I'll do. I'll lead Weavile, and hopefully um, my opponent's led with Stunfeast. Interesting. Ice Punch should be enough to scare it out, though, so I'm going to go straight for Ice Punch. Why not? Go for a nice start move on a ground type. That seems like a good plan to me. And uh, I should have had a little countdown thing going to see how long it actually was to get a battle and uh, as you can tell it, it was a freaking long time so I'm not sure whether this person has deliberately brought a mono electric type team to the play test against um, a against Volkraken but I mean it seems like it's to me it seems like it's to me um, but I've realized now that Rotom Heat is actually a very dangerous Pokemon to against because I've got nothing to absorb both electric type and fire type hits which is interesting and it could always just go for a burn Ooh. so Rotom Heat was definitely a good Pokemon for my opponent to pick I'll, I'll give him that I'm, you know just <laughs> nah it's alright it's all good and um, I'm thinking why not go for a knockoff really I mean I'll outspeed the Rotom I'll do a lot of damage and we knock off its charcoal Okay, I definitely don't get that. I kind of get the Confuse Ray, but I definitely don't get the Charcoal. Um, that's That just seems really weird to me. But um, I'm figuring that you're more likely to go for a Fire-type move than an Electric-type move. So I'm tempted to bring Volkraken in, but uh, not sure. Not sure. I guess i got to give it a go. I know, I'll just, I'll just bring it in. We'll see how we go. Hope and pray and all that sort of stuff. As he went for the overheat, now Volkraken, of course, will not receive 
any damage at all from that being a fire water type. I'm not sure whether I said it before, but it's a fire water type. And as you can see, it looks kind of funky, so I'm not keen on the design, but it's here. And uh, Volkraken has a decent amount of special attack. Um, these are the stats that it's ended up with once I've chosen it. Infiltrator, I feel, is a nice ability. And um, as you can see, that's a shit ton of special attack, actually. It's more than I thought. But um, yeah, so that makes it cool. And I'm going to go for a Scald, because I'm pretty sure I should outspeed Rotom Wash as he swaps out into the Magneton. That's cool. Because Magneton's not very fast, and I should be able to fill it up with a Fire Blast. I just got to hit it. Just gotta hit it, I hit it, and boom. So Volkraken does get a kill, which is awesome because the point of this was to feature Volkraken, and it's right here. It is right here. Okay, so this battle might actually be rather quick, and my opponent forfeited. Really? Really? Ugh. Okay, so we finally get another battle. Um, it takes a while in uh, this cat project, and that's because it's you know, it's fairly unseen and undone and all that sort of stuff. My opponent here is not bringing a Volkraken, but you don't have to, so that's cool. Um, uh, it's going to be nice to get my Thunderous out against the Zapdos. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to deal with the Terrakion, though. That could be interesting to um, have to play around. Um, actually, Edge Slash will do all right. Uh, against the... Um, god damn. Volcarona, I will get Volkraken against the Compelda. Um, this could be interesting actually. This could be a very interesting game to play around. There's a lot of power here. A lot of power. And I'm predicting a lead Zapdos or an off chance at lead Terrakion, I guess. And, um, if that's the case, I want to be leading with Ferrothorn. So I'm going to do that. Lead off with Ferrothorn as my opponent brings out Compelda. Interesting. Now, I don't want to activate its guts. Um, I'm not sure whether it's going to be a Flame Orb one or a... Um, God damn, what am I going to say? Flame Orb one or an Assault Vest one. I have seen a bit of both. Goes for a knockoff. Bad call. Um, you get Rocky Helmet damage in the meantime. So I guess Rocky Helmet was probably better for this particular match, at least because um, Kinkilda did knock it off, and so it received a bit of extra damage. So... That was for this battle at least, it, you know, I'm always tossing up between Rocky Helmet and, um... I'm always tossing up between Rocky Helmet and Leftovers on a Ferrothorn, and I'm going for a Protect here, just to get some extra health back and really screw over this Kinkelda, that's the aim. Anyway, I'm not seeing an item on this Kinkelda, so it's more than likely to be the Assault Vest variant. Or at least that's what I'm thinking. Now, he's used Drain Punch twice, and I want to predict him to go for the Drain Punch again, but he could predict me to do something a bit drastic and go out into Age of Slash. Um, I, it's very... I'd feel comfortable doing that ordinarily, but I really don't want to lose that thing, because I'm feeling like that's going to be important in dealing with my opponent's team. So, this makes me not sure. This makes me very uncertain of what to do. Um, my opponent is saying he doesn't know what Volkraken is, so I will explain that to him, um, really quickly. Uh, it's a fake mon that showdown, um, uh, test to see how different the metagame can be. Okay, you guys should know that. If you don't, then I just set it all out there, so... Um, that tells you what it is. Uh, I'm going to go out into... I'm just going to do it. go out into Edge Slash. It can take a... Um, it could take a knockoff anyway. So, I'm reasonably happy with that turn. Just because Edge Slash did not get screwed over in any way. And we have damaged the... And killed a, a reasonable amount. So, here I'm more than free to go for a Shadow Ball. Because... Or, or, Really? I'm not sure we will, actually. Landorus is very dangerous. So I'm going to go for a Shadow Ball. Hopefully we can survive the Earthquake. That seems very unusual to me. I thought all Landorus were, um, were special attackers with um, Sheer Force. Not, not like the way you saw there. But hey, it's what it is, I guess. Now, I'm going to 
predict a Mega Revolution, possibly a Swords Dance here. Um, quick Attack, maybe, will kill me, maybe not. Um, but the worst thing that could happen here is I let this pincer just start rocking up some damage um, with, you know, getting a Swords Dance up and everything. So I'm going to go straight for the Shadow Sneak. I should be able to do some epic damage to it. We do. Okay, so even though my opponent went for the Earthquake, getting a lot of damage off on this pincer is very nice to do. It is very nice to do. And I can bring in Weavile, outspeed it, go for an Ice Shard in case the Quick Attack is inbound. I guarantee I will kill it with the Ice Shard. So I'm pretty happy about this, because we have got two big threats out of the way. The problem is that my the opponent has an entire team of threats out at the moment. Um, and I am not just free to bring in Agislash now. I, um, I did sack it off a bit, you know, too early, but as unfortunate as that is, it's happened and all that, can't do much about it. I'm going to bring out Thunderous, just because it can take a Drain Punch better than anything else I have. And, um, you know, we should be okay against this Conkelda, or at least I hope we will. We do damage everything with Thunderbolt, so I'm happy to go for it as we nearly kill the Conkelda uh, and, and Stone Edge kills us off. Okay, so we cannot... Um, damn, I thought I would have been able to kill that Conkelda, but it turns out we cannot. That really blows. Um, Conkelda can get Mac Punch, though. I was about to send in something else, but... Remembering that it can get Mac Punch, I have to bring in Weavile, I'll go for an Ice Shard to prevent any damage. Of course, Weavile has Life Orb, so I, that's not technically true, but for the most part, it's true. As you bring in Volcarona, and that thing with a Citrus Berry. Interesting. I like that. That, that's, that is very interesting. Um, I don't really have anything that can really stop this Volcarona, though. Uh, I guess... Volkraken, actually, because I do have an Assault Vest on this thing, so hopefully it can survive whatever attack you have. If it's Giga Drain, because Fire Water Pipe, so I think I should be able to. If it's anything a bit more obscure, then I'm not sure. I mean, Bug Buzz would probably be my opponent's best move at the moment. Um, I am hoping that I survive, and I'm going to go for the Hydro here. There's the Giga Drain. Oh, it did even less than I thought. Fantastic. Hydro nearly killed that thing. Oh my god, yes. And I'm going to go for the safe Scald on this turn here. Giga Drain did not enough, and Scald kills it off. So that shows some power in Volkraken right there. I know I'm running an Assault Fest set, but damn. Damn, that did so much. And unfortunately... Zapdos is super effective, but I don't have anything that can really just come in freely. So, um, Hidden Power Ice is probably my best move here, just because it hits super effectively, and that's... Uh, Zapdos outspeeds Volkraken. Um, my opponent's really not sure, because he's asked me how to create it. Uh, I didn't create it. Uh, Smogon, who run this site, did. Um... Uh, you can use it if you want. Yeah, I'm just going to let him know that so that he knows that he's free to do all that sort of stuff. And I think I am free to Dragon Dance up with Tyranitar right now. That seems as good a time as any to do so. So, in we go, and Dragon Dance. Now, what are you going to do to me that I don't want to happen. Thunderbolt? Oh, I can take another Thunderbolt, but that means I would be playing around with Parahax, and I don't really want to do that, so I'm going to go for the Rock Slide here, and Rock Slide kills it off with a crit. Um, you guys will see a damage calc pop, pop up with um, whether that mattered or not. I previously have done that if I have remembered, and hoping I outspeed the Terrakion, which I should unless it is a Scarfed Terrakion, which if it is, I may be screwed. Going for an Earthquake. I do outspeed it, and I kill it off. Okay, cool. My opponent had an interesting team. I'm not too sure exactly whether my opponent knew what he was doing just because he wasn't sure about Volkraken by the looks of it. But you know, that's that's not the main thing. The main thing is that we managed to do reasonably well with, um, with uh, this team and stuff. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed... This Volkraken special video, I don't know, I don't know how many the, I don't know the metrics of this video and what it's going to be like, but 
Um, I guess I'm just uploading because I figure let's do something really different, and it's still Pokemon, so you guys can still enjoy it. It's just using this fake mon or fake mon or whatever, however you want to pronounce it. Not the point. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more Pokemon content, and if you're not sure that you want to subscribe and stuff, check out some of my other videos, or if you have and you want to check out some more, go check out some more. I'm not going to stop you. Um, I'm more than happy to do that. Also, um, I'm making a layout as we speak. Hopefully it turns out really cool and stuff, and the reason why I say as we speak, because in the breaks between looking for the battles I've been creating it so if you guys just really like the layout leave a like for that and um if you guys want to see how I make my layouts and stuff I've made a video on that so check that out and stuff anyway enough rambling we're done Freddy Fishfinger out <laughs>